Hey, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai. Yahweh is the Heavenly Father's true name in Hebrew, and Yahweh Shai is his only begotten son, the savior of the nation of Israel, starting with the elect. All right, and peace be upon the house of David, by all shall die, die, which are the men, women, and children that are chosen to be delivered out of the wrath, the coming destruction of, 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 of the Heavenly Father, right, or on this place of uh, Babylon, all right, and throughout, you know, different parts of the earth, okay? The, uh, the one third, you know, um, chosen saints, okay, that's going to be the uh, rulers, starting with the 144,000. Um, in the kingdom to come. Okay, so you know, basically, I just wanted to get a quick um, topic, quick a couple of scriptures. You know, on the topic of Yahweh Shai uh, died to give us remission of sins, not permission to sin. Okay, because you got this uh, uh, false notion mainly that's pushed out by these um, by these uh, false uh, uh, pastors in these churches. Okay, you know, even even guys that claim that they're uh, so-called Israelites. All right. The, um, they they say that the laws is done away with, okay, and say that you know you know mainly you know these churches which have beguiled our people believe that since Yahweh Shai who the, who they ignorantly called Jesus Christ died, that they have permission you know um, to to go out and you know break the law, okay? They have permission to you know eat pork, shrimp, crab, and lobster, to get tattoos, to um, you know uh, line up their head, you know to do all the all the uh, evilness is all the um, all the transgressions of the law. They feel that they're now covered by the blood of Yahweh Shai so that they have the permission now to do that. OK, but when you read the scriptures and you um, have the understanding, you know, and, and Yahweh Shai is supping with you through the Holy Spirit, you will understand that he gave you remissions of sins. OK, when you go into that word remission, it means basically um, forgiveness. OK, or, or, you know, basically paid the, the wages of, of, a, of a cost. OK, because the scripture tells you that the, um, the wages of sin is death. All right, so Yahweh Shai, him being the ultimate sacrifice, paid that cost of our sins, okay? Because ultimately, because really, you know, we're always supposed to be put to death, man. All right, every every single Israelite was supposed to be put to death because we all sin. Scripture says we all sin and come short of the glory of the Lord. All right, but because of Yahweh Shai's uh, sacrifice, he sanctified us. All right, and um, basically cleansed us and gave us a clean slate, which is remission of sins. All right, so I'm gonna get um. Couple scriptures in that, you know, Lord willing, it's edifying to the new brothers, you know, that because you got a lot of people that don't know, you know, that they're supposed to keep the law to the best of their ability, man. You know, and Esau set it up, you know, have our people, have our own people go out there and teach, you know, these are uh, false um, doctrines that the the, 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 um, the laws are done away with, man, you know, and it's leading our people, you know, astray. All right. So we'll get this um, scripture real quick. This is a uh, Hebrews chapter 13. So like you, yeah. Hebrews chapter 13, damn, paper's sticking together, man, Satan, all right, Hebrews chapter 13, verse, um, verse 12, it says, um, wherefore Yahweh shall also that he might sanctify the people with his own blood suffered without the gate. All right. So basically, you know, the point is that Yahweh shy, his sacrifice, uh, you know, him shedding the blood sanctified, you know, the people. All right. Starting with the elect it sanctified, you know, the elect of Israel, which means it cleansed Israel from, you know, the, um, the, the filthiness, the, the blood, the, 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 the guiltiness of, of this, of the, uh, of transgression, of the law. All right. So him sacrificing, that's why he was, he's called the ultimate sacrifice. He's called the lamb of God. All right. Because in the ancient world and no for us to have repentance of sins or, or, or have our sins be forgiven by the heavenly father, we had to do what we had to sacrifice, you know, a unblemished, uh, a lamb. Okay. Or, or goat, you know, basically a, a, a unblemished sacrifice. We had to present to the Lord. All right. Uh, an animal, but the Lord being, you know the highest sacrifice the the, the um the the perfect lamb of god he sacrificed you know yahweh yahweh sent him to sacrifice uh to be sacrificed to uh basically cleanse the elect of israel all right so that's why you know the elect are, are going to be found without you know any guile because they're covered by the by the blood of yahweh shahamashiach now that doesn't give them uh, permission to sin that gives them a clean slate all right so you get this uh next scripture you know, this is the one that brothers always bring out um, to really show that who Yahweh Shai died for. But, you know, I'm going to get I'm going to get um, I'm going to read the, the, the other part of it. You know, this is Acts chapter five, verse uh, 31. It says him has the most high exalted with his right hand to be a prince and a savior to give 
repentance to Israel and forgiveness of sins. Okay. It says to give repentance to Israel, not permission to Israel to go out there and commit all types of uh, a wickedness and abominations and that, you know, and think that they're still going to be delivered or think that they're still going to have a, a salvation, man. No, because the elect is going to, is going to, you know, um, repent. Okay. And they're going to do the, 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 the keeping the law to the best of their ability through the faith of Yahweh Shai, man. All right. That's what the Lord came and died for. So that, so that the elect of Israel can, even though they can't keep it perfectly, they will be found perfect because they are in the body of Yahweh Shai Mashiach and they're covered by his blood. But the elect of Israel is still going to try to keep the law, statute, commandments to the best of their ability, man. And that's why we go out there and, and tell Israel to repent and, and repenting means to feel sorry for, you know, your, your, your wrongdoings, man. Okay. How are you going to feel sorry for something if you're going to continue to do it? You know, this is, um, Ecclesiasticus chapter 24. I mean, chapter 34, verse 25. It says he that washeth himself after he has touched a dead body and touch it again, what availeth his washing? Okay. Why? Because, you know, in, in, the, uh, in the law, it's, um, you know, you consider it unclean when you uh, uh, wash yourself, you know, or when you touch a dead body, basically, you consider it unclean. So basically, um, it's saying right here, he that washes himself after he touches a dead body, if he touch it again, what availeth his washing? Washing. So basically, if you, you know, ask, you know, for forgiveness, if you ask to be sanctified, you know, ask to be covered by the blood of Yahweh Shai, you know, and then you go and commit those same sins that the Lord died for you to uh, for for you to be cleansed from. What avail? What what does it profit you for for even asking to be you know uh, uh, covered by the blood of the, of Yahweh Shai anyway? All right, that's why the scripture talks about presumptuous sins, man. They are not covered. All right, and also talks about he that knoweth to do good and doeth not to him it is a sin. All right. Because if you're going to if you're going to commit the same sins that Yahweh Shai died so that he can pay, you know, pay that that um, pay that bill, so to speak, which is death. When you when you transgress the law, if you're going to go commit those same sins, then you're not sanctified. You're not covered by the Lord. All right. You're not covered by his sacrifice. Verse 26, it says, so it is with a man that fasteth for his sins and go and goeth again and doeth the same. Who will hear his prayer or what doeth his humbling profit him? All right. So, so what does it profit you for you to say that you're covered by the blood of the Lord? And then you go out and commit the same sins that you're saying that the Lord died for you to, uh, for you to be uh, cleansed from. All right. That's why keeping the law, statute of commandments is, is imperative is a part of this doctrine, man. It's a part of Yahweh Shai's doctrine. The Lord, the Lord didn't come and, and do away with the laws, man. All right. He did. He did away with the uh penalty of the law for the elect okay which is death man okay he became that ultimate sacrifice but guess what if you're not covered by that the law if you're not covered by the, the sacrifice of the lord then you're gonna have to pay that bill for yourself man you're gonna have to pay that bill yourself which is death and that's why the second death is coming to this place man starting uh mainly for you know two-thirds of israel all right the lord's wrath is about to come upon this place because you people out there don't want to get right in, in the eyes of the lord man you want to be wise in your own conceits you want to you know uh uh take advantage of the grace that the lord had given you by by uh sacrificing his son yahweh shah to die for you so that you can be clean clean all right so that you can be clean and that you can strive for uh uh, perfection man you don't want to strive for perfection you want to say that you love the lord but then still commit the iniquities that he died for man the scripture talks about in hebrews if you gonna if you're gonna uh basically do you know those sins that he died for you're trying underfoot you know the, the uh the sacrifice that he did for you man all right and it says how much sore punishment are you gonna be worthy for all right you're gonna be worthy for a great punishment and that's what's coming man that great death is coming for you for you two-thirds niggas that want to just you know, uh, 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 commit these, uh, sins and not even have any, uh, uh, any, uh, uh, guilty conscience for it, man. You know, the scripture says, man, you're supposed to repent to, and repent means to feel sorry for your wickedness. All right. And that's what the elect men and women do, man. They feel sorry when they go off, even when we still in this flesh now and we go off, you know, uh, uh, unknowingly, you know, when we go off, uh, because of, uh, because of, of the flesh, we feel sorry. And we ask the Lord to re for, for repentance, man. All right. This is a uh, Luke chapter 24, chapter 24, verse, uh, verse 46. It says, and he said unto them, this is Yahweh Shai, thus it, thus it is written and thus it behoved Hamashiach to suffer and to rise from the dead on the third day. 
all right? It's the God which I suffered, man. All right, when he went on that cross, it wasn't no light thing. He suffered to 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 cleanse Israel. All right, he suffered. He got beaten. He got whipped. He got uh, uh, thorns put in his head. All right. All these things that our Lord and Savior did for us so that we can have remission of sins, man. So that we can be sanctified, so that we can be cleansed, and we can be brought back to Yahweh, man. And then you go out there and commit uh, wickedness still, and you still do it and, and have no, no type of uh, a shame to do it, man. That's why the Lord is coming back with great wrath, because he suffered, man. All right? The Lord said that he suffered, okay? And he got killed. A, a, a perfect man, a man without sin, got killed for you niggas to, to, to repent, and you don't want to repent. You want to just try to under the foot and say that, hey, to hell with Yahweh Shai, man. He died. Guess what? I'm going to go out there and still commit wickedness. And then say that he covered your sins, man. The Lord going to deal with you niggas, man. All right? It says, uh, verse 47, that repentance and remission of sins shall be re should be preached in the name, in the name of in his name among all nations beginning at Jerusalem. All right. It says rem repentance and remission of sins, man. Forgiveness of sins, not permission to sin, man. And if any of you, any of you uh, uh, Israelites out there are hearing this word, okay, and you still going out there and committing sins and playing games with the Heavenly Father and His Son, all right, saying that you're in this truth, but you're still going out there and committing willful sin, the Lord's going to deal with you if you don't repent, man. If you don't ask for remission of sins, the Lord's going to deal with you, man, all right? And that's the message that we're preaching. Repent, all right? Repent and be saved or or be destroyed, man, all right? That's that's the scriptures, man, all right? So with that, call Lord Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Y'all should like you for getting in, 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 the, in the, you know, emotions, but, you know, it pisses you off, man, because you got Israelites out there that 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 don't care about what the Lord did, his sacrifice, man, all right? But the elect, we we, we going to keep uh, serving the Lord in sincerity and in truth and keeping the law, statutes, and commandments and, and, and waiting for the day for the Lord to come back and redeem us from this place, man, all right? So with that, Shalom.